Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at setting up the bird class because at the moment we've got land that spawns and moves, we've got pipes that spawn and move and the pipes in the previous video we made their Y position random which was really really cool but we actually need a bird to be able to play otherwise we've got no game at the moment and over the next few videos that's what we'll be covering. But before we get into the bird class one thing I did forget in the previous video was Actually, I'll run it and I'll show you something that happens. If I run it, I'm pretty sure I've got the pipe spawn frequency to half a second. That's good. Just look at the different positions of the pipes. Then let me run it again. Play. Like, they're the same, or you might be thinking they look the same, and that's right, they are. The randomized method isn't very good unless you create a seed, and the seed will just be used when creating the random no number generation, which will just uh, provide a more random number. So to do that, very simple, go to your game.cpp. We need to do some include, so hash include std lib dot h hash include time dot h and to create a random seed you just do f rand this is generally done somewhere at the start of your application you could keep constantly doing it but you only realistically need to do it once when the application is launched and this will be run first time so what's this saying Implicit conversion loses integer precision. That's fine, we don't need to worry about any of that. But that's it. So this will be run pretty much at the start of our application. Now if we run it, click play. As you can see, they're already different. They're already looking pretty cool. Let me click play again. Press play, and as you can see, they are different. That is pretty darn cool. So let me just confirm it one more time. Run it. Yep, they are different. So that is really, really darn cool. And then we have a more random pipe height generation for the position offset. So that's it for that little snippet. If we go to the definitions, back to the good old definitions, we are going to create some definitions for the bird sprite. So hash define bird underscore frame underscore one. There's actually four different frames because we will be animating this bird as well. Underscore file path resources for slash res for slash bird dash zero one dot png copy and paste that for the four instances of it and it's two three and four and i think you can guess what we're going to do two three and four so we'll in a future video be setting up the animation so that way you can just add more frames if you want to you can change it up really really cool stuff now what we need to do is actually create our bird class the same way that you've created files for like land, pipe and all the other different states. So I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this by now for your particular IDE. So it's just going to be called bird like so. Add it to the target for my next code. And in the bird.hpp, we're just going to get rid of all this and put hash pragma once hash include sfml for slash graphics the hpp hash include definition is it going to pick it up nope it's refusing to pick it up and then finally hash include game.hpp you need the same namespace that we've been using so far so sonar and we're going to put a class of bird gonna have public methods first method being the constructor 
This is going to take it a game data ref just as it always does. And we're going to have a void draw method. At the moment, we're not going to have any other methods for stuff like moving it. We'll be covering that in a separate video. We're going to have some private variables first being game data ref, call it underscore data. And now we're going to have a sprite which will well be the sprite of our bird. We're not going to have four different sprites. We will just swap out the texture when animating it. So if we go to our bird.cpp, we can get rid of all these comments. And just put the namespace as usual. So sonar, and we're going to put bird, bird, Game data ref data, and we're just automatically going to assign it very similar to what we've already done. And initially, we're going to do underscore bird sprite. And what's this moaning about? Out of line definition does not match any declaration in bird.hpp. Hmm. It's right there. I'm gonna wait for now and then just build it because sometimes it just gets rid of errors once you do build it. So again, just gonna wait for now. I'm gonna put bird sprite dot set texture. And for the texture, again, we have not loaded this in yet and we will be doing that very soon. It is going to be bird sprite dot set texture. I mean, no, uh, it's gonna be data assets dot get texture and for the name it is going to be bird frame one or whatever you choose to call it this is what i will be calling it and we're just going to put the void bird draw method like so and here you just do data window dot draw and we will draw the bird sprite so bird sprite if we build this, let's see what we get. So we're still getting errors. Out of line definition does not match any declaration in Sonar Bird. Really weird, because we got a bird constructor right here. And it's saying, then, ah, put game data, not game data ref. If we go back to the CPP, build it. That has fixed that problem. You probably didn't fall into that little trap. You probably did it right. It was just me, most likely. Now we can actually go to the game state.hpp, do hash include bird.hpp, and we're going to create a bird object. So bird, asterisk bird, like so. Now we can go to the game state. .cpp, so game state, and what we're going to do is just load in the texture. So this is going to be called bird frame one. It's going to be called bird underscore frame one file path. That's the only one we're going to be loading in at the moment. We'll in a later video load in the others, but you can go ahead and load them in if you really want to. And we're just going to do bird equals new bird underscore data and the only last thing that we need to do is draw it because we don't have any update methods for it at the moment so we're just going to do bird draw run this and let's see if we if our bird draws click play and yes it is drawing Obviously we can't move it, we, it doesn't animate, it doesn't collide, but we'll be covering all of that good stuff in future videos. So that's it for creating and setting up the bird class. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. Also, there will be a link with this video, which will take you to the GitHub page, which will have all of the source code from every part in this series. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.